Hello there and welcome to a new Pandora FMS video in our YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to learn a little about the architecture on which this monitoring tool is structured and get familiar with the language used by engineers and technicians who work with this software on a daily basis. We will start with the database. It is the main element Pandora FMS is based on since almost all the information is stored there. It is built on the MySQL database management system and on Percona MySQL in enterprise environments. Next, you will find the Pandora FMS server, developed mainly in Perl. It is a multi-threaded application that is capable of running different instances or Pandora FMS specialized servers at the same time. To see and work with all the collected information, there you have the Pandora FMS web console. It is programmed in PHP and can be accessed from platforms that support HTML and CSS. One of the advantages is that it is a multi-tenant service so different users with different profiles will have access to it. As you would already have an environment ready to work with Pandora FMS, but if you want you may add certain elements according to the needs of the infrastructure you want to monitor. Features exclusive to the enterprise version. One of these options is the possibility of adding a history database. This will help you store data from more than one month ago, for example, without overloading the main server database. When facing an environment with a large number of devices and metrics to manage, you may deploy the Meta console. It is a console that will allow you to work from a single place if you have multiple servers, avoiding managing those instances on each console. Another feature that you may install on networks that are far away located or in special environments is the satellite server. This server will collect data from the network where you install it and will send the data to the main server through the tentacle port. This one is the official Pandora FMS data transmission protocol and it uses port 41121 which has a client developed in C and Perl and a server in Perl. Additionally, Pandora FMS incorporates two external plugins such as Selenium and Elasticsearch for specific user experience, monitoring and log collection accordingly. Selenium offers you the engine for recording and executing web experience transactions while Elasticsearch provides you with a database where you can collect logs from our environment and work with them for their display or correlation. As we mentioned previously, Pandora FMS Server has specialized servers for executions. There you may find Data Server, which processes the information sent by software agents and the satellite server in XML files and stores them in a specific directory. The Network Server, it is responsible for remote monitoring through ICMP checks and TCP and SNMP requests. Therefore, communication between the server and remote agents is essential, regardless of whether they are on the same network or not. Additionally, you have the option of using the enterprise ICMP and SNMP servers, which use advanced strategies to obtain information from ICMP checks and SNMP polling. The SNMP trap server, it uses the SNMP trap D daemon to receive traps from agents and work with them later in the trap console. The WMI server, it is specifically designed to remotely monitor Windows systems using the WMI protocol and this Microsoft standard must be configured appropriate agents. The discovery server, it performs the network scanning task of your choosing to detect new nodes. Includes the possibility of detecting their operating system and setting the network topology. It can also work with scheduled tasks and launch specific monitoring on virtual environments, clouds, databases or applications. A plugin server. It allows to use custom and complex scripts developed according to each environment to carry out more complex tests. These scripts can be developed in any language and can be used centrally and easily from the Pandora FMS web console. Prediction Server. Using artificial intelligence, it is able to set a statistical forecast based on data collected up to the past 30 days. Web Server. Also known as Goliath, it performs web checks such as identifying users, sending parameters in a form or navigating throughout the menu, among other possibilities. The Export Server. It allows to export the data of a monitored device from a Pandora FMS installation to another one, having the data replicated. It is useful in large environments with multiple Pandora FMS instances and for centralizing critical information. The Event Server. It is the one used to correlate events and generate alerts based on them. Inventory Server. It is used to collect information from our agents, both hardware and software. The Wux Server. Which combined with the Selenium plugin that we discussed earlier, allows to perform more complex web transactions than those of the web server. These will be run in a real browser and displayed step by step. 
Finally, you may analyze the syslogs or log messages of the machine where the syslog server is installed or even use the R syslog protocol to centralize log sending. Thanks to this component, you will be able to analyze its content and store the references on your Elasticsearch server. Therefore, it is important and necessary to have the Logstash or Elasticsearch server enabled and configured. Then you may check and correlate your device logs from the Pandora FMS console. Now that you know how Pandora FMS is structured, we are going to delve into the vocabulary for managing the tool. The first thing to identify as an organization or unit are the agents. This is the term with which each of the monitored devices or applications are known and that you may divide into two branches software agents and remote agents, who have their own tutorial where they have been explained in more detail. Another term that you will frequently hear when working in our environment will be module. This is the expression used to name metrics or data that can be obtained from each agent. For example, on the server you may have a module for the CPU, another for RAM, etc. The modules can have five different states, normal, critical, warning, unknown or not initiated. And within each agent, there can be as many modules as you need. Since we know what servers we have available to work and get the best possible performance out of Pandora FMS and what agents and modules are, let's see what options we have to manage our environment. Events allow you to see all the events that take place in your monitored environment and filter them by different fields. In addition to seeing these events, you may take action on them. Policies are an enterprise feature, a great option to work faster in large environments. They give you the option of managing modules, alerts, plugins, collections or inventories for example, and then being able to select as many agents for those elements as you wish. When we talk about collections, we are referring to another enterprise feature where you can massively add any type of file such as scripts or plugins that will be deployed and used by software agents. Plugins are those applications that you can find in the Pandora FMS library or develop yourself that help you obtain agent metrics by performing more advanced checks than with a simple module. You can find two types, server plugins that are run by the plugin server and return a single value, and agent plugins which will be launched by Pandora FMS software agents and that collect one or more data in each execution. Dashboards are another feature of the Pandora FMS Enterprise version where you have the possibility of creating your custom monitoring page. That way you may have in a single view the elements that are most useful to control your environment adding maps, charts, event views and many more options. Visual consoles are visual monitoring representations as their name indicates. Some of the options it offers are the possibility of selecting between different images to set as background, the icons to represent the agents or the links to redirect to other pages. But the user will also be able to add and customize elements to their liking and measure. This feature also allows to create several visual consoles that are linked together to represent a hierarchy, for example. Pandora FMS also gives you the option to create network maps. These will be a representation of your network topology and you will be able to see different elements that make up your environment, the relationships and the state of each one of them. In the enterprise version, you may also find the option to monitor services. This feature is a group of resources that can host from routers, switches or firewalls to websites or other more complex services, such as an online store or a distributed three-layer application. The state of each element individually will affect the whole state according to the configuration you set, giving higher relevance to the general state of the service than to the individual elements that compromise it. Another way to represent the information obtained from the agent is the reports. You may find a wide variety of options to display information, from charts to SLA reports or an inventory. These reports can be checked from the console itself or downloaded in different formats right when you want, including sending them by email on a scheduled basis in enterprise environments. Following the options that you will find in Pandora FMS, there are the GIS maps. These are maps where agents of your facility will be represented with the icon that you select in the geographical point where they are located. After doing this review, we have seen the most outstanding term that we can find when working with a Pandora FMS environment and the vocabulary that we should use to carry out more accurate searches on Pandora FMS Wiki. Getting familiar with these options will also help you find more easily what you are looking for in your console and differentiate enterprise and open features. If you have any doubts, don't worry. We will upload more videos detailing each of the topics that we have discussed here. If you have any questions or suggestions, do not hesitate to leave comments or contact us directly at the email address that appears on the screen. 
I hope this video has been useful and helped you work with Pandora FMS. If you liked this video, please like it and subscribe. Remember that if you are interested in trying Pandora FMS Enterprise, you can contact us to get a free 30-day trial. Thank you very much for your time and we hope to see you in future tutorials.